All right, the A-Sun Game Day Podcast. William Hall here with Greg Todd, EKU Women's Basketball Coach. How's the day going, Coach? Doing, doing very – I'm busy, but you are way busier than me. You're, you're, uh, you're, you're here every uh, every minute. Yeah. So, uh, Try to keep it's up. Good. It's good. It's a great day to, uh, to start A-Sun Basketball uh, and tip off and excited to be here. We're excited to have you. Um, so, just first question uh, – Antoinette Walker is our preseason player of the year. Just talk about the impact uh, that she brings to the floor. Where she she, gets she out is there. a young lady that's a bucket. I mean, she averaged 21 points last year, about nine rebounds, a shot nearly 50% from the field. Uh, great young lady. Uh, I'd recruited her pretty hard when I was at Moorhead State. Mm. And one of those things uh, uh, was able to uh, get her to come to Eastern Kentucky. And what a uh, pleasant young lady she's been and very excited about her returning this year and uh, uh, and we you know have a uh, definitely a very good group with her so mm-hmm. excited about uh, what what the future holds yeah yeah uh, Leche Reconati also earned preseason all a son on the team so um in your mind, who is someone else that uh, is ready to have a breakout year for EKU this year, you believe? You know, we, we were able to, to, to do very well in the transfer portal. I think uh, Ivy Turner was a second-team all-conference player in the Horizon League at Northern Kentucky. Ivy is a local girl and uh, just a very solid player overall. Uh, we have Nakia Thompson. Nakia uh, is played in the A-Sun, played um, on a good Jacksonville State team mm-hmm. a couple years ago. She was the starting point guard on that team. She had an injury last year, but she's, I think, very ready uh, for her last season to, to do to do some big things. Um, I think those two have made a big impact. Uh, we, we've we added some post play this year that uh, I think could make can make a difference as well and uh, we, you know we're, we're going to be a more athletic team a deeper team uh we're uh, we're looking forward to seeing you know where where we match up but we know it's a, a, a top of the conference is as strong as always with florida gulf coast being the team they are and uh certainly lipscomb returning five starters on a 20 win season and austin p is a uh will be a load as well and and, and there's several other teams that uh, uh, you got to be ready to play against. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely, definitely. Uh, EKU you finishing in the, towards the top half of the conference last year, predicted to do the same thing this year. Uh, what what can we expect, though, to see from EKU this, this season? What, what? You know, we, we feel really good about it. Uh, we feel like we've covered some of our weaknesses from last year. We did have a good group. Last year, we lost a couple of very talented players like most teams do. Uh, but I, I think our athleticism this year is better. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will definitely be able to play a faster style of basketball. We'll be able to play offensively and defensively, I think, quicker. De- overall, defensively, I think we'll be a better, a better group. Uh, but we, we, we did have a, a good team, and it was a good league last year mm-hmm. as well. But... Uh, uh, we feel like we can stay healthy this year, like most teams. Uh, we should have a chance to be uh, right at the top of our league. Gotcha, gotcha. Last question: um, If you're not coaching basketball, what sport are you coaching? What sport do I coach? Yeah, what or? sport? What sport would it be? Yeah, that's a tough one. I, I I love to play tennis. I love to play pickleball, but uh, I don't I don't know that I could coach those two. Uh, Probably from my early days, baseball. I was a big baseball, baseball fan. Uh, grew up uh, uh, with the old uh, Big Red Machine up, up in Cincinnati. So okay. probably uh, probably being baseball. That'll, that'll work, well, no. Coach. Appreciate your time. Good luck this season. Thank you.